Hello folks, my name is Marble. I'm playing the next video game in the series, and that's Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Pretty much excited for this one. Well, you say that, Chewie, but I'm pretty sure the good folk who watch the show already know pretty much what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Now punch it, Chewie. Let's get to the game. Hello folks, welcome back to Marble's LEGO stream and we are continuing on from the previous session uh, where we were on the hunt for data cards and we've got one left in the Ewok village on Dagobah that I could not find. Uh, well, we found it but I couldn't find a way to get to it, it's behind a closed door. And there's one left on um, another planet, that's Exegol, that's the planet that Senator Palpatine was re resurrected to. So all we need to do is go find those two data cards. Let's hope we can do that in one session. So here we go, into the game. Aha. Yes, but as much as I would love to participate in this supremely dangerous mission, sadly my memory has been wiped so I wouldn't be any help. Damn the luck! Okay, so I think it's Endor. There's one in the Ewok village. And there is Exegol. And there's one in the Sith Citadel. Uh, so those are the last two key cards. Um, we are also up on 2.2 million studs. And we need... Uh, let's go here. Uh, we need 8 million to get to buy the times 6 multiplier. That's the last multiplier that I'm going to buy. Because then we will make money fairly quickly. And we will just... By playing chapters, we will make uh, the 48 million studs that we need for uh, studs times 8. Uh, and we've got, as you can see, 17 of the 19 data cards. So those last two data cards are on Exegol and Endor. And we, we found the one on Endor. We have not found a way to open that one. So let's see if we can do that this time. It gets uh, ready to settle because uh, <laughs> we might be a while. Um, last time I couldn't find it, so let's see if this time is any better. Um, we just need to go... I think there is a mechanism somewhere to open up that hatch. And usually those mechanisms are not far off from the location where the hatch is. So uh, I think we just need to go look around and see what we can find. Uh, let's first make our way to the to said data card. Uh, so let's open up uh, the map. And I think the data card is... Whoops. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, is somewhere up here. Let's go to the different levels. Let's hope it is still up here. I think it's here somewhere up on the left it's, I don't even know where we are we are oh we're, we're already, we are here so it's relatively close I think it's in this area somewhere so let's go find that area let's see I think it's somewhere down here that's oh maybe it's even this tree yeah I think it's this tree let's see if we can find it it is a way down I know that this looks familiar and there's a little bit of a hatch on the left side inside the tree somewhere around here still farther down I think or is it here oh yes here it is yes this is where the key card is behind this hatch so uh, let's go looking for things that we can destroy 
are things that we can target or whatever else there is. There is a target down there. Ooh. Shall we try and... Whoops. Can I get that target? No, I can't get it. Oh, I can. Oh! That's it. That's it. Okay. So, if you ever find yourself wondering <laughs> how to open that one, just walk al along this this bridge and you should see the target over there. Wow, that's something that I missed last time around. I just saw it in the corner of my eye. But that is the data card on Dekoba. Right, that was quick. Jeez, I was prepared for a long session here. Uh, okay, so let's go to Exegol then. And that should be the final data card that we need to find in the Sith Citadel. Let's hope we can find that one as quick as well. Uh, but, of course, being me uh, <laughs> and having my luck, I think that would take just a little bit more time than this one. Maybe even an entire session. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Because the Sith Citadel is fairly big as well, as I recall. Um, yeah, I can see a Kyber brick up there straight away. There it is. But let's check the map. And the fog of war is obscuring everything down to... In here, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And there's only a few things that we can actually see. So that's also something that we need to go do. So let's just try and uncover this area first and see if there's anything in here. There's a vast area that we need to explore. Um, so let's just go check out this side first. Ooh, I can even ride. Oh no, I'm just going to go back into space if I do that. Uh, so don't want to do that then. Boring! Okay, so that's this side uncovered. I need to go here as well, so that's the other way around over here but I don't think there's much here I can go under here there's stuff under here that I can see there's a race here I'm just gonna continue uh, to uncover the entire area so that we can actually check it out We're back outside there's stuff to do here galore and it looks like there's no data card down here I can go up there so let's see if that whoops does something for me I think it's a bit unwise to uh, uh, characters. Yes. Let's go. Can I do Jedi? Yes. A Jedi Master has arrived. You may now breathe easy. <laughs> oh, jeez, the arrogance. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's not much that I can do up here. Oh, whoops, uh, except for slide down and get into trouble. I thought this might be a way up somewhere. Oh, there are... And... Thingies up there. Let's see if I can go back to somebody who can grapple. Can this guy grapple? No, I don't think he can. Yes, Finn can grapple. Let's see what we can find up here. 
Oh, there is an item here. I don't want to go find those items just yet. Uh, because I'm looking for the data cards. Okay, so check the map. We've got everything uncovered, but we need to go maybe in here, in this, into this uh, structure. So let's see if we can do that. I think that's over here somewhere. Yes, this might be. Oh, how do I get in here? Oh, it's going down. <laughs> I was just about to look for a switch or something, but it's an elevator that's taking me down. See if they can now find anything in here. I'm keeping my eye on the minimap as well. Just to see if. Uh, ooh, there it is. It's showing up right here. Right, there it is. Set destination. And now we need to find might be up there. Let's go up here. Yes, uh, my waypoint is also showing me the way here. So it's inside the citadel. Uh, okay, so one little tip. If you see this keycard, you can see there's a little yellow arrow pointing up. So that means that I'm too low. I need to go higher in this, uh, into this building to get to the data card. So I need to find a way up from here. And I'm not seeing a way just yet. This is just a solid chamber. I can't climb up from here. Oops. So we need to find a way. There are ropes here. Can I climb on these ropes? Nope. Just jumped by. Let's see if there's a way up here. There's also a little chamber here, but it's also solid. Gonk. Yes, hello, Gonk Droid. There are a lot of these. Uh, ooh, this one will get me up, I think, maybe. Ooh, yes. Now what? Ooh, I'm up upon the pipes. Is that the way to do it? Oh, there it is. There's the key card. Yes. Ooh, now let's do some balancing. So that's the way to get up there. Uh, so the waypoint actually shows the wrong um, platform. This. Uh, oh, I was going to say it says 18 of 19, but I've got all the key cards now, data cards now. So uh, the, it shows the wrong platform. You need to go to this platform over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, jump up on that rope to get to the data card. So that is all data cards collected, actually. No, oh, I do need to go down before I can do anything. Uh, yes, let's show this Think Yes, 19 of 19 data cards. So I can buy everything that I need to buy now, uh, except I need money. So I'm going to make money. But if, before that, I'm going to see if I can buy a few very useful ones like this one, the Universal Translator. Uh, if somebody talks in a foreign language, um, you also you you always need to switch to a protocol droid. But if you've got the use of a universal translator, it says allow all playable characters to understand any language. And I think that is a useful one. So I'm going to buy this one, and it's enabled by default. And there are a few funny ones. Replace all civilians with gunk droids. That's a million bucks, though. 
<laughs> uh, ritual mode. Yes. Uh, well, that's not that useful. Uh, television mode. We we'll get libraries. So there's a, there's a few funny ones, but not just not too useful. I think this one is useful that we bought the universal translator. And of course, the multipliers are useful because you can make a lot of money. Uh, gunk droid, golden gunk droid, orc companion at a battle. Well, aid you in battle, occasionally sending enemies into a frenzy. That's a useful one as well. Maybe buy this one. That leaves me still with a million, over a million studs. Galaxy Rave. Wow. Jeez, that is 500 million, or half a billion. Uh, <laughs> don't have the money. Uh, so let's go save up for this one. Uh, but to do that, we are actually going to go... Um, to play... Ah, oh, this is also useful information. Uh, uh, and find everything that we can find along all the, the, uh, the planets. Uh, like uh, Kyber Bricks and other stuff that we need to buy stuff. Uh, because for the usual upgrades... Oh, let's check that by the way. Uh, there are also other upgrades that I can buy. And I do have 24 Kyber Bricks. So I can buy a few things that are useful. <clears throat> I've got 15 kyber bricks for attack power of blasters. Yes, that's something that I wanted. So I'm going to buy that one. That's only 50,000. Uh, but now I need another, another set of kyber bricks to buy this one. That's the next one I'm going to buy. Increase the attack power of lightsabers. So let's go through buying all these upgrades but for that we need kyber bricks so the next thing we'll do is to go on the hunt for kyber bricks in every location that we can find uh so we'll do that next and see you in the next session bye bye we can figure it all out tomorrow even jedi masters deserve a day off <laughs> yeah so see you tomorrow bye bye